it is Monday morning the 3rd. Welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, welcome. Um, it's Monday, so it's my big chores cleaning the bathroom, so that's what I'm doing right now. Got my little headphones on. I'm about to put on some worship music. I'm gonna clean the bathrooms and then put up the dishes and start my little laundry for the day, which is the towels. And then I'm gonna go do my read and write the word and well, my Bible study time. And then what's next after that? I'm gonna get ready for the day and finish editing this video until the boys are up, ready, dressed, and have had breakfast and this dog is eating something he found on the floor. All right, you guys, I just finished my study time. It took me about 45 minutes. I could have did it faster, but the boys kept acting up. So I kept having to get up. Get out, Optimus, out. You know what, let me take him out first, but now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. I'll get ready with you guys. It's gonna be cold, hot today. But it's cold in my house right now, so I'm debating on if I should turn on the heater just to warm up the inside of the house. Because I want to get dressed for the day, but with the way it feels inside my house, I want to wear sweats. But it's going to be almost 90 degrees today, so I'll be right back. The sun felt so good on my face. I turned the heater on. I did go ahead and do that just for a little bit. Um, just to bring it up to like 71 and then the AC won't come back on until it's like 73 degrees in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our hair. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to blow dry it or not. I don't want to spend all that time getting ready. I think diffusing it will probably only be for like date nights or like if I'm in a rush and I need my hair to dry quick. Let's hurry up. I'm starting to get ready at 10.55. My goal is to try to get ready in 10 minutes. I don't, I really don't think that'll ever happen. Like the fastest I can get ready is like 15 to 20. Um, and I don't know why. I think I get distracted too much or I spend too much time on one thing. It's always my eyelash. I've been considering eyelash extensions, but they're just so expensive. And it's just, it's just not in the budget right now. Now I should probably be thinking about what I want to wear today. The boys have a private soccer session at 1.30. So we gotta hurry up and do school while they're eating. I gotta eat, I need to eat something. Probably gonna make me one of these little egg witch things that we have in the freezer, eat that while they're doing school. I should have gotten up when my alarm went off cause I was already kind of feeling like I wanted to get up. So I've been up about an hour and 20 minutes earlier, and which means I would be an hour and 20 minutes more ahead in my schedule. So like we'd probably already be done with school <laughs> and I'd be sitting down editing right now. But that's okay, we're getting better because all last, all since the time change, I have not been getting up to almost nine. Today I was up at 8.30, so. And I'm getting faster at doing my chores too, so. Having the schedule definitely helps. Like I don't have to think about, I don't have to think about, um, like I don't have to wake up every day and think about what needs to be done. Like there's just a set schedule as to when things get done. Oh, I forgot to start laundry this morning. I'll do it here in a second. And you can always find what hair products, makeup products I use on any of my links skincare i don't know if i have my hair care linked on my amazon storefront yet but it is on like my binable account you can also check out my magic links uh account my obsessed with it account magic links account you can always check those out so it's like anything you see a nine times out of ten will be linked <laughs> even started like a different makeup routine because like i said i just really want to get better at getting ready faster I also think if I just bought a new mascara, I wouldn't have to spend so much time on my eyelashes. Let's see if I have any mascaras in here. So a lot of mine are drying out so bad. This is the only mascara that was in like my little makeup collection that I haven't sucked the life out of. So hopefully this one won't make me like have to do like a million layers. So we are done with mascara for now. We're just gonna go ahead and let that dry. Next thing, I, the only thing I don't like is that like, that mascara got mascara everywhere. <laughs> like I never get mascara down there, I don't know. But we'll go ahead and do some, just a teensy tiny bit of concealer. 
I say that, but I use two different concealers. So take that with a grain of salt. This one is just to like brighten up a little bit underneath the eyes. And I know some people gonna be like, why? Why do your mascara if you're gonna be messing with your eyelids? And it's because I like to curl my eyelashes twice and I need for the mascara to fully dry. So by the time I'm done with my makeup, I can curl them. So I do them first. I'm gonna go in with this one from e.l.f. Optimus, what are you doing? I think we officially have ourselves an indoor dog, y'all. I think we're officially there. This is literally like my base. That's it, just concealer where I need it. These little scars right here will not go away, will not lighten up, like none of that. I really hate the lighting in my bathroom, really hate it. Going in with the best blush ever. I always dab first just to, just to test the waters and see how pigmented it's gonna be that day before I just start um, rubbing it in like crazy. Sometimes I'll put that much and it's really a lot more and then it goes like everywhere. Urban Decay Waterproof Setting Powder. Love this. It truly is waterproof. Go back in with a little highlighter. Excess blush on this brush. Brows. I kind of plucked this eyebrow too much. <laughs> Curl the lashes one more time. I'm gonna do school with the littles and then have Ethan do school by himself, but he can do by himself. And also because we do do school year round, Ethan's definitely ready for third grade and Bryson is definitely ready for first grade. Yay me. But luckily most of their curriculum that I find is free. Just gotta get online and print it out. All done, just gotta get dressed. And that only took, like I said, well, 16 minutes. Um. I had a couple of interruptions there, but could have got done in 15. All right, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, we are officially ready for the day. When we leave the house, I'm just gonna wear like my little Nike sandals. I forgot to put on a necklace, but I got on my little diamond hoops. Brian got me one year for our anniversary and I'm gonna put on my diamond, my gold diamond necklace. That, that's a heart that he got me one year for our anniversary. So I'm gonna put my necklace on and then I'm gonna do the rest of the things I told y'all I needed to do. So come on. I'm gonna heat it up for two minutes because I never trust the things. I never trust the packages. Be quiet, please. Let's eat a little shinabon. Shinabon. And if you don't know, now you know. How do you know that song? No, no. How do you know that song, Mom? Ethan, how do you know that song? Because it's a scary song. Because it's a scary song. It's called Washington Scary Song. One more Cinnabon. It's called Emperor's New Clothes. These are so good. Hmm? It's called Emperor's New Clothes. And that's a scary song.
right, you guys, we just finished school. It took about an hour and a half. We started at what, 11? So just an hour, it's um 12, 12, so just a little over an hour. I'm going to try to edit for 30 minutes and then we gotta head to the boys' private soccer session. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get this um editing done. Why is the coloring weird on this? <laughs> You guys we have made it to the boys private soccer sessions with my brother-in-law his name is his name his um his little i'll put his little logo and stuff and all his information in the description box um if you're local to lubbock does private soccer sessions hi so we are gonna walk optimus here are boys are gonna practice so i'm just gonna walk around with Optimus get him used to seeing other humans because he's a little aggressive. He growled at Kennedy. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy what's today? Tuesday. I can't believe it's only. Yeah, it's only Tuesday. I already feel like this week has been so long. I stopped vlogging yesterday because um, mental health. I just, uh, I had a dream Sunday night and then it just set me off yesterday. Like I pushed through yesterday because I knew that I had things to do and I'm kind of doing the same thing today, but I got the urge to rearrange the living room. So that's what I'm gonna do today. However, I do need to finish doing my Tuesday chore, which is vacuuming the whole house. I have already done three out of the five rooms. So I'm gonna go do the last two.
from the first time I saw ya You were not like the others A cool kind of melody You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I like to be A different side of me, yeah Like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Counting down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Alright you guys, so the house is rearranged and it's still only, I believe, 10.30. Let me see. Yeah, it's barely 10.30, so it's time for us to start school. I feel very accomplished today and I feel like a little bit more... I feel a little bit more refreshed, so I'm going to put my hair back just a little bit. I'm probably going to do half up, half down, and then we are starting school. Bryson's cleaning up the table right now. I also have a load of laundry to start and then but after I start that load of laundry we'll go ahead and start school but I feel a little bit better so, so I don't know I feel like the older I get the more cleaning becomes my therapy I don't know let me know if you're the same way but the older I've gotten cleaning has definitely become more of a therapy for me so yeah I'll see you guys after school all right, you guys, we just finished school. It took right about an hour because we started at about 10.50. It is currently 11.58. We did finish about eight minutes ago. I just stayed sitting at the table. Um, I ate some peanut butter crackers for breakfast with one of my La La smoothies. Uh, it's time for me to go ahead and put the clothes in the dryer. And then Optimus hasn't sig isn't signaling that he needs to go out yet. Plus, it's super windy. So, I think today I'm just going to let him signal to me when he needs to go out. Instead of being super paranoid. So, let's go ahead and get this clothes put in the dryer. I'm just, I'll be ready. I'll be happy when these spring winds are gone. Like, living in West Texas, the winds are never like 100% gone. But, early spring is like the absolute worst. Well, guys, I just realized, well, remembered that I needed to throw trash. I wish I would have remembered earlier because it wasn't this windy. When we started school, the wind was picking up, but it wasn't as dusty. So I'm going to take this trash out and then I'm probably going to, I don't know if I want to work on TikToks or if I just want to go. I think I need to go ahead and import this footage into my editing app before I start recording too much. And it's been too many days before I can't access all the files. I'm trying to upload files into the computer daily so that way it's not such a hassle for me to get them in so yeah we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take out the trash but i'm gonna go ahead and get this um start importing the footage now so i'll see you guys in a bit Bye, look, look. all right you guys so um i got the footage imported it's literally an hour later i need to get the boys lunch main optimus took the trash out and then yesterday one nail popped off so naturally i popped them all off I originally was just gonna glue the one that popped off back on because it, it popped off clean. And so 
I was originally just gonna re-glue it back on and then like just deal with them for another week. But then I was like, ooh, but I have so many pretty styles, so I'm just gonna redo them. My kids are extremely loud and frustrating me today. I, I, I just cannot with the noise this week. I need like a weekend of silence, like go on a silent retreat or something because these kids, these kids, that's how I feel, but. I'm gonna go get lunch. I'm gonna heat up to some leftover nachos that I made last night. And um, they were like chicken, pinto beans, cheese, and rotel nachos. And so I'm gonna go reheat those up. And yeah, that's about it. I just imported all the footage. So I need to go on my phone and delete the footage that's already been imported. And then I'll sit down again tonight and import whatever footage. Ooh, and soccer, pra soccer practice was canceled tonight because of the high winds. Thank you, Lord. And so I asked Brian if he wants to go to the gym. I don't know if he's responded yet. We shall see. But yeah, so since pro soccer practice is canceled, we may be going to the gym. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm sitting down with my lunch. This is what I ended up making for dinner last night. It's just, I made like sheet pan nachos. So I cooked the meat, the, I cooked the chicken, the beans, and the rotel together, seasoned it up. And then I threw it, like I made a whole flatbed of um, Doritos on a, like a big, like the, a big sheet pan, my biggest sheet pan. Then I poured the mixture on top, topped it with cheese, and then I broiled it on high for about five minutes. So now it's more like a Dorito casserole because the Doritos got soggy, but that's okay. The boys are tearing it up. Um, I didn't expect them to eat that much because they usually don't eat that much, and they didn't really want seconds last night. But there was barely enough for me to eat today, so I'm about to eat this. The clothes ended up finishing in the dryer while I was... Um, while well, I was getting the boys lunch ready, so I'm gonna be folding that after I eat, but for right now, I'm gonna eat, watch some TV, and then I'm gonna go fold the laundry and put it up. All right, you guys, so for some reason, whenever I get like emotionally like worked up, my stomach will like hurt really bad, and then I get constipated, and I did not, and yesterday was just a really bad day emotionally, and then by the time nighttime hit, like my back was killing me, my stomach was killing me, and I can never tell if it's just like pain from my body, like putting itself like in an emotional state, or if it's actually going to lead up to constipation. But after today, after several times of feeling like I have to poop and not being able to poop, this has become my best friend in my 30s. Not even my 30s, my late 20s. Um, ever since I found, oh man, I just made a mess. No, ever since I found out that, um, No. Ever since I found out that I have diverticulosis, so I am going to go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and drink me some prune juice. I just drink it straight out the bottle. I take like three massive gulps. It's never the best. Never. It's, it's really gross, but I've become accustomed to the taste. Oh my gosh. What is going on with this? Okay, I took four big gulps. You can kind of see it was up here. Now it's down a little bit. Hopefully that gets things moving for the better. Cause I took my fiber and I've been taking my fiber consistently. So that's how I know I, I'm really constipated is when I'm taking my fiber, con, con, my fiber supplement consistently and just, it ain't, it ain't working. So yeah, but um, I'm about to do my nails. Uh, me and the boys were hanging out watching some YouTube. Y'all look at this. Wind blew over our pool. Y'all remember when I set it up? The wind blew it over. So I'm just hoping the wind don't blow it away now. What I should have done was went ahead and put water in it like the boys were asking, but I just didn't want that water bill right now. I just didn't. And we have this wind advisory until 8 p.m. So I was in here thinking like, what can I go put in there? But honestly, there's like nothing I can put in there. We do have a bucket. We have a bucket that I could probably fill up with water and go put it in there. But I mean, like that teeny tiny bucket of water, like it's not going to do anything like. 
should go buy some bags of soil and throw it in the pool until the wind ceases. So that way I already have the bags of soil to finally start my garden. I don't know. Oh well, but I'm about to go ahead and do my nails and rest. So back to YouTube it is. All right, so I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys how my nails came out, but I kind of just chilled for the entire day. Um, Like after I laid the boys down for a nap, I did my nails and then just like continued to watch TikTok, uh, TikTok, YouTube. I was watching YouTube all day today. Just chill on the couch, eating snacks. Me and Optimus were chilling. It was so windy today. And then I just continued to do that for the rest of the day. We ended up ordering some, um, this place called Roberto's Taco Shop where we live. It is A1. Um, if you live in the area, it's off of about like 80th in Milwaukee, between 82nd and 66th on Milwaukee. Um, but this is how my nails came out. I think they're super cute. Um, they were almond shaped, but they were just a little too long for me. So I cut them down a little bit. Super cute. I'm not mad at them. Again, this finger is naturally crooked. This finger is naturally crooked and this finger is naturally crooked. So it's not application error. It's genetics error. But um, yeah, so I'm about to lay down for the net for or I'm about to take a shower. And then I'm gonna do my Bible study. So let's go ahead and get all of that done. Alright you guys, we're all out of the shower. Time for some skincare. Starting off with my Elf Pure Skin Toner. I stopped using cotton pads just because I felt like it was a waste of money. Because every time I do my skincare, these are clean anyway. Going in with my Acure Niacinamide Serum. One pump, of, one pump of that. I know somebody's gonna be like, you're too rough on your face. Let me worry about my wrinkles and you worry about yours. So I've been taking this Gusha, Gusha, however you say it, morning and night, and Brian says that he can actually see a difference in my face shape, so. That's exciting, it just kind of helps with like your lymphatic drainage and stuff like that. And I watched many, many people do it. So first I'm gonna show you how I do it and then I'll sh with this and then if you don't have one of these, I'm gonna show you how to do it with your hands. Up five times. Then we're gonna change the angles. Up five times on each side. And then not up on the cheekbones, but this little part where you see my natural contour. Up five times. Same thing on the other side. And literally I can feel like just drainage. Turn it again to the C side. We're gonna go on our cheekbones up five times. Always make sure you have moisturizer on your face because you don't want it pulling and tugging at dry skin. Then I like to go over my eyebrows. I don't know if this actually do, does something, but I do five times on each side because I have a wicked like <laughs> um, little like, wrinkle here from where I guess I just always look angry. Like so bad to wear makeup creases inside of it and I have actually noticed since I've started using this, it's not as bad. 
I'm gonna do, so that is a sleeping mask that I just did. And now we're doing an actual moisturizer. All of my skincare products are on my Amazon storefront, but I will also link them individually. So this is, this is the moisturizer. And then this is where I'll show you how to do it with your hair. Again, you want moisturizer. So you're gonna take your knuckles or just your fingers up five times. Like this, peace sign, five times. And exactly all the same areas here, five times, right below your cheekbones. Once you get to your cheekbones, C shape five times. And then once you get to your eye serum, cream, whatever you use, I use the Derma E Retinol. So you can either use a knuckle five times or this part five times. Get a little deodorant. This is the Dove um, Zero Aluminum Cucumber Melon Deodorant. And then for moisturizing our body, oops, we use the Lubiderm Advanced Therapy. We got a lot of eczema bodies up in this house. And the Palmer's Hemp Oil Calming Relief for your body. I'm gonna moisturize and get my pajamas on. I almost forgot, but then I use this Tarte Jelly Gate Glaze Anytime Lip Mask before bed. And this is usually my lip product when I do my makeup during the day. And then I take this jade roller. I use the jade roller at night. Mine's taped because it kept falling out the freezer and broke and I do stick these in the freezer. And then I use the rose quartz in the morning. I also learned that washing your face in cold water helps with wrinkles. So that's why I stick these in the freezer. I picture these as little irons, just ironing out all my 30 year old wrinkles. Just, and it's so refreshing too, like, I don't know. Are you a nighttime shower person or morning? I'm a nighttime shower person. There's just something about washing the whole day away. Under the eyes. Oh, that's lovely. So lovely. And I just do this until it gets hot it's no longer ice cold. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to use this. I just use it all over my face and it's so refreshing. Also, we are not sleeping with our hair up. I will usually either braid it, which I'm probably going to do a very loose braid tonight. And when I say loose, I mean loose. I really don't like to sleep with my hair up. I feel like it makes your edges fall out. And if y'all can see, your girl's already low on edges. So, very, very loose sprayed. And this is just in case my bonnet falls out. My hair is not up in my husband's grill. So we're gonna make it look cute underneath the bonnet. Okay. Get the bonnet. All right, you guys, I'm going to get on the foam roller, you know, relax my back and my body a little bit while I read my nighttime devotional and pray. And I will link the devotional that I do morning and night um, and pray. And also I will link my foam roller because it's really good for your back. But anyways, you guys, good night and I will see you tomorrow.